welcome back to BTHQ Banter, week 46. So as promised, tonight I am at the school shopping night. Um, so it is Wednesday evening? No, it's Thursday evening, terrible. Let me show you how the stall looks. It's really funny, I haven't done a craft fair or anything like this in about five years and I've literally got the barest minimum of stuff. <laughs> it looks really small. Got my helper with me. What have we got, Izzy? So we have some scrunchies. Scrunchies? That Mummy made. Then we have some little holders to hold pens, pens and crochet things or whatever you want. We have some triangle pouches, which I don't even know what they are for. Pouches. Pouches. Lanyards. And we have some cards. Computer's going to go here. Scissors. And some tips pouches, which I love. And then we have some tea bag holders. Lovely. Samples there. It's looking splendid. And behind the banner is uh, Mummy. Say hello, Mummy. Say hello, Mummy. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> Good morning, welcome back to BTHQ Banter, week 46. I know I said welcome back earlier on, I showed you around the little stall that we did last night, but I don't know how well the sound came out, so I thought I'd say hello again. So it's Friday morning, we're back at BTHQ. Um, I have a busy day today, I am working on a really lovely project for my So Beautiful Things Sewing Club members. Um, and so I'm gonna have a selfish sewing day and get that done, but we've got lots of lovely people in the lounge. You say hello everybody. Hello, hello everybody. everybody. Everyone's got it now. I love it. Alison's brought Jaffa cakes again. Yay! We love a good Jaffa cake. So we've had also got a bit of had a bit of a clear out. Um, we've got some yarn that we are de-stashing here today at BTHQ. Lots going to charity projects and all sorts. So we've put it all out on the table for everyone to have a little rummage through. We didn't get an amazing amount of people at the sale last night, so I've put the bits and pieces out, um, and they can be out here. And if anybody's interested, they can pop in and pick them up. And then I'm ready for a day of sewing. And I should just show you, I've been sent some fabric by the lovely Little Stitcher Sews. Um, it's really, really lovely. And she has sent a little cheeky discount code, which you can use. Um, this is actually valid until the 20th of November, I think she's extended it. Um, so if you want to get yourself a discount on fabric, go check her out. Well, that has been a very productive day. Most people went home at lunchtime today, but I have spent the afternoon starting the next So Beautiful Things Sewing Club project and the fabric from Little Stitcher arrived just in time because I've been able to use it. Ooh. So I've got lots of pieces done and ready to assemble, hopefully, sometime tomorrow. But it is now half past five and I really should go and pick up my kids. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, it is Saturday and today is a day of crochet. I have got the lovely Karen and Sheena in this morning and they are doing their first part of their intermediate crochet and they are furiously counting in the background <laughs> um, doing their granny stripes. Let me show you what they've been up to. So we've got some circles and some changing colours going on. And Karen's counting, she's doing her first bit of her granny stripe at the moment. And Sheena's done her circles. And this is what we're going to be doing by the end of the session, just creating a little sample of the granny stripe blanket. So we'll see how they get on. This is a strange one. It would appear someone has come to BTHQ to do a spot of sailing. Why we have a boat in the car park, I have no idea. But it's helping the concentration. How are you getting on, ladies? It's fun. <laughs> this is fun, she says. <laughs> I didn't pay her to say that. Oh, the boat's moving. Oh, 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 boat's gone. It's going in. It's going. Mmm, what a mystery. So we're doing beginner's crochet this afternoon. We had intermediate this morning. And um, everyone's just getting to grips with their double crochet stitch. So not a particularly eventful day, lots of crochet being done and a boat. Um, but that's Saturday over and done with at BTHQ. I'm not here again now until Tuesday. On Monday I'm going to be at CVS with the lovely Glyn who did all of our professional filming a couple of weeks ago because we are editing all of the footage that we took on 
that session. Um, so hopefully really soon, in fact in the next couple of weeks, our beginner sewing course will be live on our website and you'll be able to purchase it if you want to. Um, so I'll be back with you again on Tuesday. I'll see you then. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Good morning, welcome back to BTHQ Banter. Please excuse the fact that I appear to be growing a second head. Um, <laughs> today is a quiet day but busy in the sense of I'm going to be teaching all day. Yesterday I was with the lovely Glyn and JB at CVS and we were editing the beginners sewing course. By the time that you see this, I think it will be ready and available to purchase, which is super exciting. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, um, then you will have seen the kind of lead up and the run up to it. If it is available, then I will link it down below. But if it's not there, panic not, it will definitely be there next week. And I'm pretty sure, because I've filmed lots of bits and pieces, there'll be some sort of trailer going live on YouTube throughout the course of the week. So it's all very exciting. Um, it's definitely a crochet week this week. We had some crochet on Saturday, um, and I've got crochet again today and tomorrow. So this morning I'm teaching another lovely couple of ladies my intermediate crochet course. This afternoon I've got a one-to-one, -one. a lady wants to um, learn about shearing elastic and then tomorrow um, I've got another group of beginner crocheters starting. So it's definitely a crochet week. Um, we've still got all our yarn out for sale, we've still got all our little bits and pieces so if people want to pop in and buy them they can. Um, but I've got a really random lot of jobs to do today. This big bag of bits here, the light's not very good but I've had a clear out at home, um, again, looking to declutter so that we can fund a, a cricket maker for the studio. Um, I'm trying to do it purely because it's for me, and yes, it will be here, but it isn't necessarily a business expense. Because it's for me, I want to pay for it out of, sort of my pocket money, so to speak. So um, I'm not going to use my wages or my earnings. I want to have a good clear out and kind of fundraise for it myself, if that makes sense. So I'm having kind of a, a Facebook boot sale um, and flogging loads of bits and pieces that I've cleared out from my house, which in the same point is helping me really declutter at home, which is really nice. So I've put loads of bits in here today because people are coming to pick them up. Um, um, or I need to post them out. So I've got a really random day. So let's see where the day takes us. Good afternoon. So my crochet ladies had a lovely morning this morning. Um, they needed a bit of me time and a bit of time out. So I didn't catch them on a video because I didn't think that would be very fair. And this afternoon I just had a one-to-one -one lady who again was very much here for herself. Um, so no class footage today. I have, however, managed to stitch a little bit more of my latest sewing club project, which is very exciting, using some of the fabric that was sent by Little Stitcher. This is a giant storage box with multiple pockets. Um, and I have nearly got the pattern finalized and finished, so hopefully I should be able to film and upload that very, very soon. And my second head is growing even larger. Come on, look, you see the light shining off it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go and do the school run now and on the way I'm going to pick up the footage um, that we edited yesterday at the studio. It will all now be on my hard drive so I can take it home and start to use up copious amounts of internet and bandwidth which my husband is going to love me for um, and upload some of those courses to the website. It's all very exciting. I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Good morning, welcome back to BTHQ Banter. It is Wednesday, yes I'm wearing the same jumper. No, I haven't got the same t-shirt on, I'm not that dirty. We have a busy morning today. Let me spin you around and show you who's here. So we've got free machine Christmas embroidery happening this morning. Can we say hello everyone? Hello everyone. Yeah. Some of you are learning, some of you aren't, we're getting there. So we are doing these lovely little tags today that you would have seen a few weeks ago when I was making up the samples. And we're also going to be doing little Christmas cards as well. So everyone's busy using their templates which I've nicely done for them so they don't have to draw themselves. I'm just too lovely. And Elspeth's made a top, but it's not finished yet. <laughs> That's not gonna show up because it's too dark. But check this fabric out. I think you did. You'd have shown this in your Utrecht fabric yes, call, this wouldn't is you? Part of my this is her bowler call. hat, mice T-shirt, and I you're had doing. Enough for the front and the sleeves with the black back. You so did. Right. Kitchy Q trifecta. You're gonna get that finished now, aren't you? Yes, miss. Off you go. Yes, miss. 
there is one very cross, nervous reindeer. And he's cold. You can see him shivering. He's only a practice one. Give him his due. But isn't he wonderful? <laughs> and there's a proper one. He's much less cold and cross. He's gorgeous. Mm. I like him. <laughs> and somebody can even write. Show off. <laughs> That's the it's lovely. It's gorgeous. A lovely bow on the back of your stocking and a proper Noel. And wow, look at that. She even wrote a happy. She just. Just a happy. She wrote a happy. <laughs> I'm nervous nervous too long. I've got the shadow. <laughs> Christmas just was too long a word. <laughs> Gorgeous Christmas pud. Yay. I've got a parcel. And Claire's got a parcel. Very exciting. Come on, focus, you silly machine. What's, what's this? It's an Anglo Saxon costume. Or it will be. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's it says sheet. it's per plain dyed bed linen, it but actually it's an Anglo it's an Anglo Saxon costume. Just you wait, it's yes, an Anglo Saxon right. costume. Okay. <laughs> Have you finished? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was amazing. Yes. Yay, I'm really pleased with it. So it's the first time I've actually taught this class. Um, but it's worked out really well. So I think if you like these, I might do this as an online class, but for next Christmas. They're really super cute. <laughs> Elspeth's finished her top, but that's not all she's made. She's got matching knickers. I'm not going to model them for you today. Oh. But when it's a little warmer. Perhaps you can parade outside in <laughs> I the car come park. In just in my knickers and top. <laughs> <laughs> They're splendid. Well done. She's so, get us first. Jen, Jen stayed with us today. She's been in the moor this morning and she's going to be trialling with Elspeth, or she is trialling, the mug bag class. So, we're going to see what these mug bags become. It's beautiful fabric. Can't see that's the funny light, but lovely, lovely. We'll see how they get on. And then we've got another batch of fervent crocheters next door. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> we'll get, let them off, they've not been to BTHQ before, they don't know the rules, don't worry ladies, I'll explain it in a minute. But they are busy <laughs> working on their beginner's crochet course week one. Super dupes. Have we finished? Yes, we finished. Show me, show me. He's pretty. Oh, the light in here is so rubbish at night. Hang on, let's go over here. Da -da -da. It's not much better. There we go. How pretty is that? Gorgeous Japanese inspired fabrics. It's got a bottle of water in it. <laughs> but it's got room for a mug. Elspeth's made the larger one so it'll fit a food container. So pretty. Let's have a look at yours, Jen. There we go. These gorgeous orangey, goldy, greeny, pinky colours. There is orangey, goldy, greeny, pinky colours in there with show green the pockets. Bottom. I'll show them the bottom. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> She's got a good bottom. Yeah, it needs a toggle on that one, I think, Jenny, because it's going to yeah, ping, right. yeah, ping open. So, a little I'll spring loaded out. toggle. Gorgeous. Have you had fun? Yes. Currently wrestling an alligator. I know it doesn't look very green or very snappy. But it is an alligator. At least this is what I think wrestling an alligator would feel like. my new project for the So Beautiful Things Sewing Club and it's ginormous. I've got to turn it in the right way now. Oh no! <laughs> Caught my pocket in the... <laughs> I'm supposed to turn it in the right way through this pocket and I've managed to catch the pocket in my top seam. Oops! A bigger...
see even us professionals make mistakes and I know you like to see me make mistakes because it makes you feel better about yourself <laughs> but you also get to see where the likes of Sean and myself get the phrase ask me how I know from right there we go that's released I'll just re say that little bit there we go okay in we go there we go right that's all pulled through I just need to top stitch around the top close the pocket in the bottom and then it will be ready to show you Ooh. all done this is the new choose your own adventure storage box with double elasticated pockets plain side flap pocket da -da 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 -da. Little side pockets and thin pockets, pens and knitting needles, and then on the top, oh, look at that! It's a big drawstring top. That when you open it up, reveals a huge cavern inside, which isn't dark, it is pale, but you can't see that with the light. And a zipper pocket on the inside. Mm. If you want to make one of these, then you need to join our silver sewing club which is the intermediate level um, and this is one of the projects that you will receive for just 15 pounds um, and there are so many options to this box it comes in different sizes it comes with different sides so you can have it really sturdy really soft really floppy you can have different pockets there's so many multiple options but i will tell you all about it when i tell you about the new sewing club projects in a few videos time but dead chuff with this one now all i need to do is write up all the instructions which are going to take me ages and film it so that is another BTHQ banter over and done with. I've actually lost track of what number week this is. I think it's 47. It might be 46. I can't remember. I know I said it at the beginning. <laughs> but anyway, we're really close to Christmas. It's ridiculous. I can't believe we've almost done a year. Um, it's quite frightening, really. I'm still undecided as to what I'm going to do for weeks 51 and 52 because I'm not here. Um, I'm in Australia. So the studio is closed and I don't want to not do BTHQ banter so I'm thinking like BTHQ banter best bits of 2019 or BTHQ bloopers possibly, that could be a good one but it would mean trawling back through all my footage um, which I've got, I've kept it all um, and finding all the funnies. But we shall see. What do you think? What would you like to see for BTHQ Banter Week 51 and 52? Anyway, I'll see you all again next week, same time. Thank you for watching. As always, please like, please leave comments, please subscribe if you don't already. I'll see you next week. Bye!